Recently we got a pet hamster named Stonewall and we are gonna do a video to say what are the 10 things that you should look out for before you actually purchase a hamster. So the first question that many people will ask is Snowball a boy or a girl? So Snowball is actually a boy although it seems like he's a girl because I always buy pink colour things for him. Yeah so he is actually uh, I chose a boy specifically because I know boys are much more temperamental. Uh, Female hamsters are a bit more territorial, so I didn't want to deal with that. On top of that, female hamsters can tend to get, get a little bit more smellier as compared to male hamsters because they will have discharge la, you know, every few days. But the downside of having a male hamster is that uh, snowballs balls are quite big. Okay, no, snowballs balls are okay, but there are hamsters that balls are like huge ones, so his one is quite okay. Yeah. No. Alright, actually we have chosen the winter white pudding la. Initially we wanted a cereal, because cereal is like, you know, very fat and like thick mm. Yeah, so but in the end we never chose the cereal, right? because first of all, like what she said previously The cereal that we actually saw, right, is actually a female cereal Although it's very nice, you know, it's like brown colour kind mm. yeah. So in the end we actually got snowball, because it's like the second biggest So when we were walking around the pet store, she was like, I want the fattest one <laughs> So I want the fattest winter white pudding Then like, actually the other one is cheaper la. So actually mm. for the cost of snowball itself Snowball is snowball costs uh, forty five dollars, yeah. so they're actually quite expensive for winter white pudding. So the first thing we had to choose was the cage, uh, and I actually chose the Savic uh, Speculars Entry XL. Okay, that's the name of it. So uh, why I choose that right is because it's one of the biggest cages already, and on top of that right, it's like a plastic kind of cage. It's not like the butt wires kind where it's like. It's called Alaskan, so it's not an Alaskan cage where he can actually climb the sides and everything. Yeah, turns out right, that one all the size is about like, I think it's 59 cm by... That one, the size is 59 by 37 by 26. And FYI, the minimum size right for his breed, which is a dwarf hamster, right, it should be at least 70 by 40 cm. So it is actually like a lot smaller than uh, what is recommended. La. So I didn't feel very good to actually leave him inside this cage. Because after all, like as similar to how humans are, we cannot be confined in a space for a very, very long time. La. Like during CB, we also realized that we cannot stay at home for 24 7. We still need to go out occasionally and all that. So I wanted to give him the best life possible. So I bought a cage, a acrylic cage from Fat Pouches. That one is 120 cm by 40 cm by 45 cm height la. he has a lot of unbroken space to run across and on top of that the reason why i choose to upgrade right is because like, i realized i have been buying a lot more and more things for him and he couldn't fit into his old cage so he gave him a very big upgrade la. yeah so i saw it as a long-term investment kind of thing the fat pouches uh, cage was 198 dollars yeah so a lot of people say i'm xiao but i mean he's a I mean, he, he's, I mean, he's a very innocent life la, to me, so I really wanted to give him the best that I could. La. Hmm. I feel la, that you should adopt a hamster rather than shopping for it. So actually, if you were to adopt, right, first of all, you save money already. Yeah. Then you buy the case, you buy everything, then you don't need to like... Uh, voila. Then actually, there's a very widespread variety of hamsters that you can adopt. Hmm. So you can actually sort of shop for it, but hmm. you don't need to pay for it. But at the same time, you are like sort of saving a life lah. Mm. So like for us, actually we bought like have snowball for like twenty forty five dollars. Yeah, actually you can save that forty five dollars right, and actually buy more like snacks and stuff if we were to adopt a hamster. Mm. And also there's like a sad story like, Actually we saw on like the Facebook page that uh, some somebody actually went to pick up a cage from the rubbish chute. So like okay, she thought like, hey, actually it's a free cage and why not? Then in the end, when she opened up the cage and cleared out the bedding, right, she actually found a baby hamster inside there. So it's actually quite sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, adopt Don shop. <laughs> okay, so for his food mix, right, we actually first got uh a, this brand called Burp. I think it's food mix. So uh that one it was actually recommended by the shop assistant because he said that they were on this food particular food mix and we didn't want to stress Snowball out so we just decided to buy the same one again but then I realised uh, that actually it's not as nutritious uh, as what we thought it would be because it's just like sunflower seeds and like uh, what corn kernel and everything so similar to humans how we need like our daily nutrition like our protein, fiber, all that kind of thing that one is actually lacking of protein so we have to supplement it with uh, mealworms uh, so I, I also bought dried tofu but like he didn't like it as, as well <laughs> yeah uh, so actually I changed to this brand called uh, Bunny Winter you know
there was a whale that come with the cage. In the middle of the night, he will start to run on the whale. So he will be squeaking very loudly. It's not like the normal squeak, you know, it's a gigantic, huge ass, like, loud squeak. Yeah. That, uh, I thought something was happening to him, you know, like dying or something. <laughs> so then he will, he will wake us up multiple times uh, in the middle of the night. Mm. So in the end, since we already upgraded the cage, so we got another whale, which is bigger, and also very silent. Hamster whale actually depend on the size of the hamster, you need to have different size of whale. Yeah. So since Nomo is actually a very tiny hamster, okay, it's quite fat, okay, quite a tiny hamster, uh, he actually requires a 21cm whale, okay. as compared to like maybe a Syrian, right, which actually requires a 27cm whale. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so for his bathing, right, similarly, like, I had no idea what bathing to use, so the they just recommended the one that they use inside their pet shop, la, which actually I think is not bad. Actually, uh, the only downside is that it's a little bit hard. Yeah, so actually when I went online to read, right, I realized how oh, hamsters like to barrel. So I actually bought the paper bedding where he can barrel inside. But he's a very lazy hamster. <laughs> so he don't like to barrel at all. So he don't really barrel, eh? The only thing that he does with the paper bedding, right, is he'll take some of them. He's very cute, like... Yeah. He'll take some of them and run into his house and make it like a bed for himself. Okay. So in the end, we like sort of remove that thing because it's like taking a lot of space for him to run mm. as well as like he's, he's not using it at all mm. so for them actually they like to clean inside sand bath of course they cannot you cannot really wash them you know because mm. it will get a lot yeah. of like germs and don't stuff. go and shower your hamster okay <laughs> you'll remove I, the natural oil on their body yeah. yeah so last time i remember when i was very young and i have a hamster right, i would bring it to a sink and i put it inside the water and i like, shower him mm. but that one is extremely not recommended uh. So actually for hamster, their shower right, is sort of like a sand bath. Mm. So for us, actually another mistake that we did initially was that we actually bought scented sand bath. Because like, hey, actually hamster is quite smelly. So we scented sand bath, right, we'll actually give him like a strawberry smell or like a peach smell or something like that. La. But actually for this sand bath, they actually added chemicals to make it smell like a strawberry or like peach or whatever. Mm. And all day he's still ingesting chemicals. It's like sort of like you drinking your soap. Right? Mm. Yeah, la. So end up, we actually got the full natural sand bath, mm. which is like the type of very fine sand. It's sort of like the Sentosa kind of sand, but it's like even finer. Yeah. yeah. I can admit I'm a crazy hamster mom. <laughs> I like to buy things for my hamsters. So I realized, right, toys are quite expensive. La. Okay, the most angriest buy, right? Okay, I won't say it's like, um, I won't say it's a hamster toy, but hamster related item right is this thing, okay? This one right, it's meant for him to go inside and like pee and poo and everything as well as his sand bath blah. So, um, wow. the thing is that I bought this for $17 eh. Therefore, it's like plastic in tong la. It's plastic, then you can see all the scratches and everything. So what I realized right, there's no point huh, to go online to search for all these hamster related things. Actually, you can buy for them like a normal glass bowl from Daiso for $2. So I realized that I can go to Daiso and buy all the toys that he wants. La. So in fact, like, because he will get very bored easily, so uh, I will switch out his toys once in a while. So yeah. No? For all pets, right, you need an emergency fund. So for our snowball, right, there's one period of time where he was extremely emo and he would just stand there and stone, you know. Mm. Like, no matter how we touch him, he would just like... Mm. Yeah. So initially, we thought like, there's something wrong with him. Maybe, uh, when he was emoing, right, we had to sort of like, bring him out uh, of the cage and let him run, roam around, free roam, uh, and also like change his toy, right, and then he got very happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he start running around like, very fast. Like, mm. So like, it's sort of like... Uh, a warning for us like, hey, actually we need emergency fund just in case, right? If you really have something wrong with him, we need to bring him to the vet. At least we got this money that we can bring him to the vet with. Yeah, we have ended our video. We hope that you find our tips very useful because these were things that we didn't know at the beginning. So only after we got snowball, then we like, wow, crash course, go and read online, that kind of thing. Like. Yeah, so if you have any other questions, you can input it in the comments below uh, or you can DM any of us. Yeah, okay. Hello. Anything else you want to add on? Yeah. Okay lah, okay. Bye bye!